How's everyone doing? You guys having a good time? I feel very, very lucky to be here tonight, so thank you so much for having me. I am so pleased to be presenting the Producer of the Year Award to Lucky Chap. Since 2014, Lucky Chap has been championing female filmmakers with projects such as Promising Young Women, this year's Saltburn, and of course, Barbie. This mission is part of the company's ethos, celebrating female storytellers and strong female characters and employing female HODs. But if you speak with Margot, Tom, and Josie, they'll tell you it's just good business. I was fortunate enough to be part of the Barbie phenomenon this summer, both as an actress and a songwriter on the track Dance the Night, working with the producers at Lucky Chap, along with visionary writer and director Greta Gerwig, and her team was truly such a rewarding and memorable experience. As filmmakers, the Lucky Chap team lead with humor, empathy, and heart every step of the way. They're involved in every facet of their projects, from creating immersive practical environments on set, which became home to a truly epic dance party in the film, to heartful moments where audiences around the world were challenged with the idea of what it means to be human. Lucky Chap is creating significant films for not only the modern woman, but for all audiences all over the world. It's no secret what a massive success Barbie has been this year grossing over $1.4 billion at the global box office. <laughs> and it speaks to the incredible visionaries behind Lucky Chap, who two years ago had the foresight to push forward on what could have been a risky move. I mean, think about it. A subversive Barbie movie, where Mattel is the character in the movie, with a bespoke song by yours truly, and a planned choreography dance number, to quote Richard Brody from The New Yorker, Barbie is brilliant, beautiful, and fun as hell. A film that's energized throughout by a sense of artistic freedom and uninhabited creative passion. As someone who was there, I can tell you he's absolutely on point. A lot of producers would say, let's take the easy route. Let's not reinvent the wheel. But Margot, Tom, and Josie stuck to it. They believed in Greta's vision and their vision, and they stayed the course and they say the rest is history. Saltburn is another great example of, this, of their work this year as they collaborated with Emerald Fennel for the second time, or as I know her, Midge, and have created another memorable film with her. If two great films wasn't enough for one year, Lucky Chap released another film this year, Boston Strangler, with upcoming projects including Megan Park's film, My Old Arse, and the comedy thriller, Borderline. Fervently supporting filmmakers is what makes Lucky Chaps, Lucky Chap Variety's Producer of the Year. I couldn't think of a group more deserving of this honor, and I'm so, so pleased to be presenting them with this award. Please welcome to the stage, Margot Robbie, Tom Ackerley, and Josie McNamara. <laughs> Thank you so much to the extraordinary Dua Lipa, who was, of course, our magical mermaid Barbie. <laughs> she was on set an hour early, like the professional she is, and lighting up the set like the megastar she is, and most importantly, chatting with everyone like the incredible, humble, down-to-earth person she is. Thank you so much, Dua. And thank you, Variety. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you, Variety, for this incredible honor. It truly is an honor to stand alongside the likes of Kerry Mulligan, Billie Eilish, Lily Gladstone, Fantasia Barino, and Emily Blunt. We share this with all our wonderful producing partners this year, Warner Brothers, Mattel, Heyday Films, Amazon MGM, and MRC. Now, Margot has written... Mar Margot lost her voice her. about four days ago. Yes. So she's written this speech that Tom and I are going to read, so we apologize in advance. <laughs> this is not our strong point. We also haven't read the speech yet. Yeah. Yes, this is new. Oh, God. We agreed to this yesterday. OK. <laughs> My name is Josie McNamara. And uh, I'm Tom Ackley. And you know who she is. Tonight, Josie and I are going to do all the talking for two reasons. One, Margot's lost her voice. And two, if I'm being totally honest, we use her as a bit of a crutch for these public-facing sort of things. <laughs> 
You're right, Tom, we do. And that's not fair. <laughs> just because she performs for a living, it doesn't mean that she doesn't find public speaking just as terrifying as we do. That's true, Josie. We know that. So I vow, here and now, in front of all these people, and Dua Lipa, who I have a secret crush on. <laughs> True. To not leave all the speeches to Margot from now on. Now, no one likes to show off. No one likes to talk about their own achievements, especially us Brits, who find it particularly excruciating. But tonight, we're going to read every single word that is written on these pieces of paper, right to the very end. Because tonight, we're being awarded Producers of the Year, and we are actually extremely good producers. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm not embarrassed in the slightest to declare that, to declare this to this room of extremely important <laughs> people and my crush, Dua Lipa. <laughs> Let us share some fun facts with you. This summer, we became the youngest producers in history to make a movie that grossed over a billion dollars at the box office. 1.44 billion, but who's counting? We are, <laughs> because our lawyer, Jeff, <laughs> promised to get a Barbie tattoo if we hit 1.5 billion. We only bring this up because some of you in this room may have had to endure negotiations with Jeff in the past and therefore may be very invested in seeing this happen. Where were we? Oh yes, fun facts about us. The three of us met on a film set in Belgium 10 years ago. I was the third AD, Josie was the second AD, and Margot had a small supporting role. And a hideous wig. Yep, that, <laughs> that wig was awful. She's lucky I ended up marrying her. <laughs> we became fast friends on that set, and Margot asked us one day why we were ADing. ADs get shouted at, at the most, and probably paid the least. So what was the end goal, she asked? To become first ADs? Be the ones to do the shouting? No, we said. We want to produce one day. We've since, lear since, we've since learned that producers get shouted at a fair bit too. Anyway, she said, well, I want to make my own stuff too, so let's do it together. So we did. We all moved into a horrid share house in London the following year and started our production company off the kitchen bench. Margot often lamented the fact that she'd read these amazing scripts but found that she always wanted to play the male role. They were always the better roles. It was at this point the purpose of our production company was clarified. We decided to make and champion female stories and storytellers. Those female stories and storytellers have garnered over 20 Emmy Globe, Emmy, Globe and Oscar nom nominations and wins to date a chunk of those belonging to the genius, that is, Emerald Fennell, and God willing, the indelible Greta Gerwig will be adding to that tally. We wouldn't be having the year we're having if it weren't for Emerald and Greta. They've not only transformed our careers and the trajectory for Lucky Chat, but they are changing this industry. They are changing what movies can be and mean, not just for women, but for everyone. Now I know what you're all thinking, wow. For a Power of Women event, we're sure, we sure are hearing a lot from these two dudes. <laughs> in, in capitals, dudes. Yeah, how many times have they said the word female and women in the last five minutes? Ugh, men. <laughs> but it's me, Margot, writing this, and I have to say, the only thing I love more than seeing women supporting women is seeing men supporting women. And I have watched... <laughs> I have watched for the last 10 years as these two dudes have dedicated their careers to supporting women in this industry and nothing could make me love them more. So thank you, Variety, not just for this honor, but for giving me the chance to force my two best friends to say things I know they'd be too embarrassed to say themselves. So with that, a massive congratulations to our fellow honorees, two of whom we've been so lucky to work with already and another two we will be trying to, very hard to work with one day. Most of all, thank you to the rowdy table over here for getting us up here. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Dua Lipa. <laughs> thank you.